Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I want to talk about Virtual Display Driver and how you can use it to create virtual workplaces using Astro. So let's get started. The Virtual Display Driver that we are going to use is from Molotov Cherry. And you can find it from the GitHub. The link will be in the description of the video. And head over to releases and download the driver installer x64 chip i've already downloaded the file before so let me open it from my computer and extract it to a folder once extracted double click or right click on install stroke and run as administrator and you will see success message close it then double click the display driver setup and accept the agreement and click install if you get any error during this step and it roll back it rolls back then that means the driver certificate was not added to the system and you have to run the bat install start bat that's why once again and once the driver is finished open, you can open it from start menu as you can see here and click the virtual display driver control from here we don't have any monitor added here so let's add some click the exclamation button or plus button to add the monitor and once there click on the exclamation again and it will open the monitor one properties and click on the plus button to add the resolution and refresh it i'm going to add a 1080p virtual monitor and the refresh it at 60. you can go up to 240 hertz or even higher depending on the resolution that you are setting click on plus to add the resolution and if you need more then you can add like this let's add 4040p refresh rate and click on save once saved the monitor one the exclamation mark will be gone or removed close it and save and once saved um, you can enable it when you enable it the monitor will will flicker once and once it's added then you can check from the display settings that there's another monitor i have two monitors in my system so i will see a third monitor here as you can see monitor third and the resolution is the first one that's 1080p and i can choose from the drop down as 256 by 1440 and if you check here the resolution has changed so my second monitor is also 1440p monitor and the third one which is the virtual monitor is now 1440p and make sure that the monitors are extended so extend to this display should be chosen and apply and if you want to extend all of the monitors that you have added then press windows plus p and then choose extend this will extend to all of the monitors in your system so once you have extended the virtual monitor open astro control and make sure you are running it as administrator when making changes otherwise it will not be set and you will get an error 109 instead i've added the one virtual monitor it will be available here now you see here multiple monitors that are showing here which are gray and these are monitors that are not connected these are not enabled and the virtual driver supports up to 10 monitors connected to a system for now i've only enabled one so let me remove this by dragging and dropping to blank space on the left side and they will be removed now i have the monitor as 2.1 so i'm going to drag it to the place 3 since this is going to be a virtual workplace that i'm going to remote into using Andex or parsec I don't need a keyboard and mouse assigned to here. Once I've dragged and dropped the monitor to the place tree, I'm going to apply so that changes will be saved. And since this is a third workplace, I'm going to assign a user account so that it will auto log in as well. So this is how you can add a virtual monitor and create a virtual workplace using Astro Control. And if you want to remote into the workplace using Analex or Parsex, refer to my previous videos that are available in this channel and if you have any question feel free to comment in the video below 
and stay tuned for more videos for Astra. Thank you for watching.